so far we talked about how to set up our development environment and then we explored how a typical spring boot application would look like then we talked about what is dependency injection and how to implement dependency injection in a spring based application finally we have looked at what are the common annotations that we typically use in building spring boot based applications so i think we have decent enough knowledge to start building our own application so let's start working on our blog application we have already created our spring boot application but first let us do some clean up and then start building our application so earlier when we created our spring boot application the latest version was 3.3.5 but now there is 3.4.0 so let's update this and we don't need any of this so i'm removing it and as i already mentioned while generating our application we have selected all the dependencies that we are going to use but we want to use uh, various features progressively as and when we build our features so i commented out most of the starters that are already added and we have only starter web starter time leaf and starter test right now we have only these three dependencies added rest all are commented out and i am going to talk about these dependencies while implementing the features so this is what we have in our palm.xml and also our main entry point class is named as a spring boot from zero to hero application so but it is a blog application so let's rename that to a blog application so it is going to rename the uh, test as well so here if you take a look at it uh, you have renamed this also as blog application test so let us rename this as well make it as test blog application okay so already i have commented out uh, some test contents configuration i'll talk about it when we start uh, working with the databases so now let us close all of these So I have under uh, SRC main resources templates folder, there is index.html uh, page, which is nothing but a simple HTML page. And we have a uh, time leaf uh, configured, but we are not using any time leaf uh, uh, specific features yet. But now with this setup, let us start our application and see whether we can access this page or not. So we don't have any other uh, features so far we have just this index.html and the application is started now let us open it so we can see our application is rendered the index.html page view so in our application we are going to use bulma css framework here uh, it is like uh, bootstrap and uh, other css based frameworks but for our application, we are going to use Bulma framework and let us see how we can get started with this. So if we get started and go to overview, here you can see how you can start with uh, using Bulma. So here you can see we can include the Bulma CSS um, reference and then we can start using this. So I am going to replace our index.html with this and let me remove all this and specify block so here this is the basic skeleton where we are simply including Bulma CSS and let's restart so it is working fine and uh, if you take a look at the console there are no errors that is uh, or that means it's working fine now when we look at any application typically there is a uh, top navigation bar and then there is a footer and probably some side navigation bar menu so uh, there is a layout typical layout and then there will be some main area where you see different content based on the page that you are viewing 
so we can uh, we should implement something like that creating a main common layout page and then we can have a page specific views that contains only the information that we want to render for that specific page so how we can do that we can include a dependency time leaf uh, layout dialect dependency so i am going to pom.xml here and here i would like to include a dependency because it's already managed by spring parent uh, pom.xml i am selecting manage dependency here and if i type layout i can see there is a time leaf layout dialect dependency so i'm going to include that because it is a managed dependency from the parent palm i don't need to specify a version of it so now i have this one next i'm going to create a layout.html uh, file and then specify the overall page layout including the top navigation bar uh, footer and then uh, we are going to create a, a page specific uh, view also like index.html using that layout uh, file I have created layout.html file inside templates folder and this markup represents the overall layout of the uh, our web page. So here once I added this time leaf layout dialect now I can use xml namespace colon th for using time leaf uh, attributes also layout uh, namespace for using layout specific attributes. So here if you take a look at the overall page uh, we have HTML root element and then we have head section, body section and under header we have nav bar and, and then our main page content starts here and finally we have footer. And as we are using Bulma CSS I have used the nav bar component and you can check out there documentation how to use uns, uh, inside the components there is a navbar documentation so here you can go through it and then uh, take example and then tweak it uh, to our needs similarly there is uh, under layout there is a footer section where you can take the markup and then uh, change it to your needs so like that i have done and uh, add added this uh, markup for our main layout page and let us take a, a closer look at what specific things we have added if you take a look at this title we are using layout colon title pattern and then we are using some uh, specific uh, variables like layout title hyphen content title and then we gave some uh, static title here Siva Labs blog and then we have uh, linked our uh, Bulma CSS here and then we have a link to our, our own style sheet CSS style start CS. So while using time leaf um, basically Spring Boot serves static resources under static folder. So SRC main resources under that if you put anything inside the static folder that can be served as a static resource. So we have CSS folder inside which we have style dot uh, CSS. So we are including that using this time leaf attribute. Okay. So this is uh, what we did. And then uh, the interesting part would be in the main section, we have a layout colon fragment. The name is content. And then we are uh, leaving it blank here. So this is where the page specific content will come here. So this is the overall layout. It doesn't have the actual content, but whenever we create a page, we using this uh, layout, that content will be rendered here. So that is the point here. And also we are using some time leaf uh, utilities here. Instead of hard coding the current year, we are using uh, th colon text and then getting the current year here. So when we render the page even though we have 2024 here it is going to be dynamically rendered based on the current year so it's a nice to have so that we don't have to update every year so this is the overall layout we have uh, in our application now how do we use this layout uh, let's say for rendering our index.html currently we are not using the layout file let's update this 
uh, and use layout HTML and then see how it looks like when we render this index page. So now I'm going to replace this text here with this. So here you can see I am again using uh, XML namespace layout and then here this is where I am saying which layout file to use. So here I am specifying take the layout.html as the layout file and then I am specifying the title uh, for this page that needs to be home and this is where I am specifying in the layout file here we have a layout fragment and we gave the name content right so here is where we are specifying what to put uh, inside that content fragment so here again we are using the same layout fragment uh, with name content and here is the actual content that is going to be placed in this layout here okay so this is what uh, this is how we are using layout file next thing we are also including some of our own css file i created some uh, body footer some css that is required to uh, render our page so this is all we have and let's restart and then see how our page home page is going to look like so earlier this is how it was looking now this is how it is looking like so it is obviously using the layout page uh, here you can see the top nav bar and then a footer here and also you can see the content here and one another interesting thing to notice here is there is uh, this title became sivalabs blog hyphen home so how it is rendered if you take a look at this layout HTML file, we specify the title pattern as layout title and content title. And this layout title is nothing but what we have given as a title in the layout file, which is nothing but Seva Labs blog. And then we have a hyphen and then we are using content title. This is nothing but whatever the current page that we have which is nothing but index.html page this has the title home so basically when it is uh, matched these two things this became seva labs hyphen home coming from index.html that's why you are seeing this uh, pattern so that is how you can uh, use this layout title pattern so if you notice here while using Bulma CSS, we are referencing a CDN URL, which means it will work fine if you have internet connection and you are able to access this CSS file. But what if you are running uh, offline or what if uh, you don't want to use CDN for whatever reason? So one option is you can download the uh, Bulma CSS files and then put it in your resources and then you can refer them. Another option would be using web jars uh, dependencies. So web jars is nothing but a uh, open source project where um, we can bundle some of the static resources or uh, CSS or JavaScript libraries as jar files. For example, here you can uh, take a look at a bootstrap. There is a bootstrap jar file and jquery so like that most of the most commonly used um, static libraries are available as web jars so we can use bulma also in a similar way so let us see how we can use bulma uh, here i am searching for so here you can select the build tool that you want to use here i can copy this and go to our palm.xml Okay. So now instead of uh, referencing the CDN URL, we can reference from the web jars uh, jar file. So here instead of CDN, I am using web jars uh, dependency that is available within the jar file. So let's uh, let me show how it is available here. So under meta-inf, there is resources. So any 
static resources that is available inside a jar file under meta inf resources can be referenced as a static resources so here we have web jars bulma 1.0.2 css bulma mean uh, css file so this is how we can reference uh, static resources like uh, javascript libraries or css uh, references using web jars so once we change this let us restart and then it should work as expected uh, just like how it was working fine with cdn it should work just fine with web jars also now let us go and then see it's working in the same way and even if you take a look at the html you can see it is using this web jars reference so this is working fine but one minor inconvenience i see whenever we upgrade our library it is not only inside our palm.xml we also need to change here as well so that is something we need to take care whenever we upgrade our library version in palm.xml file so to simplify that we can use web jars locator light library which is which can take care of automatically pointing to the available version so that once you add this one uh, reload and go to uh, this and remove the version here so even though you are not mentioning the full path uh, to this uh, css file by adding this dependency this is going to take care of figuring out the version number and then including it uh, in the finally rendered page so now let us refresh and then verify though we haven't specified the version here now let's go and access it and it's still working fine and if you take a look at the generated markup here you can see the version 1.0.2 already uh, included automatically so this is a uh, nice improvement where you can simply you want to upgrade just up, update this uh, version number you don't have to every time come here and then update it so overall this is how we can set up our common layout using bulma and also we are using web jars uh, for now we are only including bulma jar but going forward maybe if you want to use jquery or font awesome icons we can follow the similar path and then add the dependencies uh, from web jars and then use it so now we have our web page layout ready and we can start working on implementing our home page so in the next video we are going to start building our database schema and then generating the entities and repositories so in the next video we are going to work on that database design part i'll see you in the next video thank you bye bye